Magnetism is a very significant physics concept and one that's often tested alongside electricity. The main things you should be thinking about with magnetism are first, how do these field lines operate? And it's the same with field lines in both magnetism and electrical field lines, and that is that they point in the direction where a positive charge would go. So if you're trying to figure out where the field lines go and where they're supposed to point, they head in the direction where if you were to release a positive charge, that positive charge would follow these lines. So they can move from north to south within the same magnet, and in that case, the density of the lines tells you how strong the field is. Another example is if we had a north here and a south down here, you could have direct straight field lines as well. But the bottom line is they move away from north and towards south because that is where a positively charged object would go. The formula for magnetic force is F equals QVB sine theta, where Q is the charge of the object, V is the velocity of that moving object. And a charged object must be moving in order for it to generate a magnetic force. B is the direction and strength of the magnetic field. And theta is the angle between B and V. Now this is commonly tested with uh, the right hand rule. And the right hand rule is fairly straightforward. You've seen it taught probably in a few different ways. Some people talk about your fingers and your palm and different things like that. The way I prefer to do it is with your index finger, your middle finger, which is perpendicular to that, and your thumb. The nice thing is if you do it in that order, index, middle, thumb like that, then the three vectors are represented in alphabetical order. So your index finger is B, the magnetic field. Your uh, force is going to be in the direction of your middle finger, and the velocity is going to be in the direction that your thumb is facing. And remember that this applies if it's a positively charged object. If it's a negatively charged object, then the force will be opposite. But magnetic forces are a very important thing. They often come up with mass spectrometry and some analytical techniques in organic chemistry. So be very comfortable with this right hand rule, and I think B. FV is the best way to do it. Your index is the magnetic field in its direction, the, your middle finger is where the force goes, and your velocity is being represented by your thumb. Now remember also that if you have a current moving through a wire, that induces its own magnetic field that is tested with a different type of right hand rule. And that is that your thumb is the direction of the current, and the direction that your fingers curve is the direction of the magnetic field produced by that current. So if the current is moving this way, then the magnetic field is coming toward you on the top, and it's moving away on the bottom. And if it's going the other way, then it's moving away from you on the top and coming toward you on the bottom. So any moving current creates a circular magnetic field around that wire. And next we'll start discussing Lenz's law, which is when a changing magnetic field induces a current, and that'll be the next topic we cover.